welcome to students in today's video we are going to learn about division in today's session we are going to discuss these three subtopics let's just move forward with warm-up questions you can please pause the video and try these questions and once when you are done with it you can resume it to check your answer well pat your back for your great efforts now let's just move forward with discussion of simple division here we have a word problem based on simple division. So let's just read it out. Rahul is having 8 car toys. He decides to divide the car toys equally between him and his sister. How many toys do they both get? Here in the question we need to divide number of car toys between number of people. So we know that number of car toys are 8, number of people are 2. We need to divide it. We divide 8 by 2 and we get 4. So we know that he and his sister will get 4 car toys each. Let's just discuss now what problems based on simple division. 20 cupcakes are shared among 5 children. What amount of cupcakes each child will get? We need to divide number of cupcakes with the number of children we are having. So 20 cupcakes shared among 5 children. We get 4 cupcakes each. Now let's just have a look at the second question. Here we have 27 peers are shared among 3 children. What is the amount of peers each child will get? We need to divide number of peers among the number of children that we get as 9 peers each. Let's just move forward with the discussion of dividing 3 digit number by a 1 digit number. Here we have 267 divided by 5. So we know that 5 goes into 2 for 0 times. So now 2 squares pass over to 6. So we now know that 5 times 5 is 25. So 5 goes into 26 for 5 times. And we have a leftover of 1. Let's just put 5 there and 1 to the 7. Now we know that 5 goes into 17 for 3 times because 5 times 3 is 15 they subtract 17 take away 15 we get a remainder of 2 so 267 divided by 5 will give us 53 with a remainder of 2 let's just move forward and now practice a worded problem based on division of a 3 digit number by 1 digit number Mira is having a box in one box she can pack 8 chocolates she's having a total of 308 28 chocolates how many boxes does she need to pack the total chocolates in this question we are having total number of chocolates and the number of chocolates she can pack in one box so 328 divided by 8 we can simply divide it using the method we can call as a bar stop method so we write down 328 here as that's the dividend and we write down the divisor as 8 outside of it so 8 goes into 3 for 0 times we pass that 3 to 2 so 8 goes into 32 for 4 times because 8 times 4 is 32 now 8 goes into A for 1 time because 8 times 1 is 8 so we know that she needs 41 boxes to pack the total number of chocolates let's just discuss now few questions for division of 3 digit number by a 1 digit number we are having 986 divided by 2. Let's just make that bus stop again and write the numbers at the places. So 986 goes inside, 2 goes outside. 2 goes into 9, nine for 4 times because 2 times 4 is 8. Now we are having a remainder of 1. That goes to the 8. So 2 goes into 18 for 9 times because 2 times 9 is 18. Now 2 goes into 6 for 3 times because 2 times 6 is I'm sorry, 2 times 3 is 6, so we get our answer to be as 493. Now let us read a worded problem based on division of 3 digit number by 1 digit number. Nitesh has 396 cards with him. He shared his cards among 4 of his friends. How many cards each of them will get? We need to divide number of cards among 4 of his friends. So we need to divide 396 by 4. Let's just write down uh, 396 here and 4 outside of the, the bus stop method. So 4 goes into 3 for 0 times, 4 goes into 39 for 9 times because 4 times 9 is 36. Now we have a leftover of 3. Again 4 goes into 36 for 9 times. We know that each of his friend will get 99 cards. Now we are having few practice questions. You can please pause the video and try these questions and once when you are done with it, you can resume it to check your answer. 
and congratulations for your brilliant efforts. Thank you so much for watching this video and for more you can please visit justutils.com.